Just watch what you can do with a little help from your parents. Kurt Vonnegut. Of cloth or old clothes. Yeah, sure, if your parents home. are Tom Savini or Rick Baker. An eyebrow pencil. <laughs> That's what I look Different like without makeup. Shadow. Rouge. Lipstick. An old mop or wig. Smelling of an old janitor sink. Some wax teeth. Bill Corbett. Maybe some clay and food coloring. Clay? He's canceled. Other odds He's going as Matt Berry. You'd be surprised what you can turn yourself into. An erotic adult. Avery Shriver. <laughs> Lady Torgo. It's Ben Manuel. And a young Wayne Gacy. That's my good arm. Oh. That's my good face. No Could someone please key an environment in for these kids? <laughs> Starting our descent. Forward. Far forward. Drifting to the right a little. Picking up some. Holy shit! Hit the brakes! <laughs> We're fine. Does it matter, my friend? Is that our crumb? <laughs> <laughs> Never have a blonde Ramon! Oh God, I'm so high! It's like a negative Ramon. Only you understand me, Vicky statue. I kind of got a lot of glaze on it. <laughs> Is he the guy who made that Lucille Ball statue? Ah, Ricky. <laughs> it's like a Can mini tingler. The mouth parts rupture the cells. Convey the food to the stomach by a. Pumping action. It's bad fan fiction. Boy, they go right to the elbows. Get the Oscar ready. Don't hit it with something, hit it! Oh, now my hand's broken! Clipboards don't kill people, people kill people. Ooh, I wasn't expecting this. Wasn't this music used in Alien Factor? <laughs> you no, know, Ron Jeremy movies don't have this much organ. Borgo wrote a book, How to Pick at Women. He has remarkably good hand hygiene for a satyr. <laughs> Weirdest Pert Plus commercial ever. Perv Plus. <laughs> oh, I had this dream. Except I was naked in high school. Oh no, it's the Star Wars Holiday Special. He'll be visited by three more of these if I remember the story correctly. You know, you're just a vision in my head. It's okay if you get naked. They won't even play with me. Do you have any idea of why they don't play with you? I smell like ass. I don't know. I was not designed for this crap. What am I, a fucking pharmacist? Tablet. The robot can only pinch. Place the tablet in his mouth. You must do this quickly. Or at your own pace. Revive him with water. Holy water. Cleanse him of his sins. Face. Oh, who said that was a good idea? <laughs> Rinse and repeat. Water boredom, then close him up. Enough, you're drowning him, dipshit. Okay, done. Can I go on break now? Bye. You're finished. Mm. You taste just like Chuck Connors. <laughs> so, guys, let's welcome our Q&A guest, the host of Mystery Science Theater 3000, Jonah Ray. Oh my God! <laughs> Wrong one. Hold on. Here we go. Oh, there's there's some... <laughs> you know, there's a lot of people out there you could hate uh, a lot more right, than right. Carrot Top. And also, and that's where I have all my hate invested, though. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I tweeted about Haunts of the Very Rich, and uh, and the more I tweeted about it, because I saw it when I was a kid when it was first. The more I tweeted about, it, I'm like. Man, this movie fucking rules. Like, <laughs> it's Robert Reed like doing peyote and uh and and then it, it's it turns out they're all in hell, you know. It's, it's, and so oh, I ended oh, and so spoiler. Sent, once again if someone sent me a link and then I just watched it on YouTube and uh you spoiled it for Mary Jo. Now she, now she knows. <laughs> yeah, cuz I've never seen it. 
my whole premise uh-huh. is that I don't I I may have heard of the movie but I I don't know it uh-huh. and I don't once we choose it I don't do any research or anything okay well so, I, I my enthusiasm for it I think um, <laughs> stepped on that a bit but um, no, I, totally I don't fine. think it's gonna ruin I don't think it'll I'm totally laughing com- at myself like completely oh, no, ruin oh, it no. for you uh, Kevin you'll be joining us at the end of tonight um, after after the after the shorts are finished during the judging portion <laughs> i've got my note cards all set i'll be taking notes this is a, america's got riffing with uh, kevin <laughs> great idea frank that you just gave that away that's just ideas float off him like i'm standard. sorry frank this just won't do, it won't do. I'm sorry. i saw hamilton a couple weeks ago And as I was saying to Chris, I think I'm maybe the first person. I kind of turned on it at one point. (laughs) (laughs) At first, I was just like, oh, my, it's amazing. Oh, it's so great. And then I was just like, wow, we're still here. (laughs) here." Here's another question for you, Bridget. Uh, Joel Hodgson has said that when he left Mystery Science Theater, he wanted you to become the new star. Did they ever discuss that with you or did they decide on Mike? right away that is news to me <laughs> wow a couple people asked that too that um, is that is new information to my ears really apparently ah, now you've you've given her something to be completely resentful about <laughs> <laughs> and to have a bitterness that she never had before she was uh, no increase over. in pay however <laughs> <laughs> this question is for liz how satisfying was watching a certain former host die in a car crash in old school? <laughs> On a scale of one, and I can't stop masturbating to it. <laughs> um, the legal minds at Best Brains uh, were like, <laughs> what is this going on in Austin? There's a show that is ripping off our name, Guilty. And they're doing, uh, they're doing like rated r jokes so they they hit us with a cease and desist saying uh you can't do this not only have you stolen the 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 name uh or you know or writing off of our name but you're doing like dirty jokes and sullying the good name of mst3k in the process a tradition which i try to keep going to this day (laughs) yes i know i completely forgot you sent me this picture because uh, someone had asked you on facebook what your first acting gig was <laughs> and you sent you actually sent me this picture so we go now we've come full circle the me to play of this whole evening my acting career began at the end when i was cast as the ass of an elephant and um because <laughs> how warren was um i mean he was a salesman he had sold cars he sold fertilizer and uh he could talk well obviously he could talk anybody into just about anything because you have to realize this is on the border of el paso texas right so there's these kids that don't speak any english and they're they were instructed to ask for autographs so so they were (laughs) autograph seekers can i show you something because uh this is the only thing that i was when i watched the movie i was like there's only one i was gonna do a whole oh, thing <laughs> and it didn't frank you let me down what I, because i only did one chris christie joke i was supposed to fill up the whole page oh <laughs> Chris Christie. Oh my God, rare footage of Chris Christie running. We're trying to find out where food goes. Chris Christie, help us. Well, one Chris Christie joke fills the whole page. (laughs) (laughs) What?